I'm standing on the protocol observed already. So I want to know who's in the room, who is the trustee, principal officer, who's involved with pension funds? <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay. The rest is just the public and interested people from the foundation. Okay, thank you. So uh, I've been given 10 minutes. I'll try to stick to the 10 minutes. So first I want to talk about retirement. So can someone tell me what is retirement? What does the word retirement mean? Oh, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it, I'm not in that category. What is the meaning of the word retirement? Ending. Ending. Okay. Okay, so the act of withdrawal from one's position or occupation or from active working life. That's now according to, according to the Medium Webster dictionary. So it's the ending of something. So it's the ending of your employment life. So if we say that's the ending of the employment life, what is a retirement fund? So this is very important because I get weird requests about pension funds, and I have to explain that is not where we have a pension fund. <laughs> so what is your understanding? What is a pension fund? What is a retirement fund? And please don't tell me it's GIPF. <laughs> there is more to pension funds than GIPF, so it's not GIPF. What is, what is a pension fund? What is a retirement fund? I always say the one who smiles is the one with the answer, so please don't smile. <laughs> Hey. Oh. Yes, retirement fund. Yes. Okay, for me now, it's uh, based on the definition that okay, retirement is uh, when one has mm. stopped working. Yeah, yeah. Okay, or if you're applying it to the position, then you have retired from it. Mm. Then a fund is money given to a person mm. as once they have ended their position mm. or once they have uh, decided that this is where I stop, mm. then from there I need my. I need my money. Yes, okay. I need my money. Okay. It's not with time. It's not, it doesn't have to do with old age. It doesn't have to do with old age. Yeah. Okay. It's it's okay. It's <laughs> so it is a special fund which people may, uh, which people pay money into so that when they retire from their job, they will receive money as a pension. This is very important. I want us to pause here. Because the other day I received a call from someone and she said, my brother passed away in America. We need 250,000 Namibia dollars to leave the body. Can I please get money from my pension fund, Mr. Kamatu? And I said, that's not why we have a pension fund. <laughs> so the pension fund is to put money away for pension, for the day of pension. Is that clear? <laughs> um, that's, that definition, I think, is a little bit Mm -hmm. It's not complete. It's, it's not, not complete? Accurate. No, it's not accurate because people don't have to pay you any money. Um, your employer could pay 100% of your pension. So they, the people can be the employer, or can uh, be the employer and the employee. Well, it could be, yes. I'm yes. saying the way it's written, it's yes. talking about people when they retire from their job, they will receive a pension. Yes. It's at least theoretically, the source of the money can, it can it also be the employer. Does not define what it is. Yes, that's correct. The source of the money is always the employer and the employee, or sometimes just the employer. So that's true, yes. Okay, so retirement provisioning, it was in the scope that was given. What do you think is retirement provisioning now? After we explain what is retirement, what is a retirement fund, now what is making provision for retirement? Okay, for the sake of the 10 minutes. <laughs> so as we say, retirement is now for putting money away for the day of retirement. So the provision for of the provision of something is the act of giving it or making it available to people who need it or want it. So it's making provision for something that you will need in the future. So that's retirement provisioning. Okay, so now retirement provisioning in Namibia. So I took some work from Dr. Damoy from his work of 2017. They are the social grants, the non-contributory old age pension. Uh, it's 1,000 compared to the salary that you received the last day when you worked. So that ratio, that replacement ratio, is the net replacement ratio. 
Now, the net replacement ratio for Namibian pension funds is set at around 20%, while the general prescription is at least or should at least be 60%, that's according to the OECD. Now, as per the book of Dr. Damoy, the Namibian retirement ratio was tar is targeting, targeted at 45 to 60%, but this is really not attainable because in most developing markets, if not all, it's below 20%. So the reason can be inappropriate contributions from members, excessive pre-retirement pre withdrawals. So when you withdraw from your fund, when you move from employment to the other to the employer, to the other employer, there may be just general low coverage that you are putting putting aside for your retirement. These can is, are some of the factors that leads to a low net, repress, net replacement ratio. So so now the summary of the, so to make to make a summary to come to to summarize what I've been saying is that the, if we look at what I just said now the current system is inadequate. The question was is it inadequate? Can it pro, is the current pension system of pension schemes adequate for the Namibians? And it will see it, it it comes now that it is inadequate. The, the current system is fine. The current pension system is fine. The regulator will speak about the regulatory reform, which they are busy with, which is good. We need to support it. We just need to do more <laughs> consultations. Thank you for the consultations that you have done. Just took it a little bit, <laughs> one entire. <laughs> yes. So, but the current system is fine. The, the sector is doing well, very well. The governance structures of the sector is very good. The private sector is really doing good in this in this in this respect. Additional savings, I spoke about the extra savings that we should put aside. This is really important because we say that the net replacement ratio is generally below 20%, and then there is the rest of the population which is not covered by the pension funds, and the, the, the ones that are working, but they are also not covered in the pension funds. And that's where the additional pension funds will come in, which is actually a very good thing because we have our uh, uh, the members of our, of our community who are not part of the of the current system because they are either they are not employed, so they are not contributing, or maybe they are employed in the informal se sector and they are not contributing to the pension funds, or maybe they are contributing that is just not enough for for the day of retirement. So the national pension funds comes in here and it is really handy. It is very important for us to support it so that we can make the current system adequate. And that will be the last slide. I hope I'm in my 10 minutes. Thank you.